What's up? It's Paul Maxi with another Atari review before I cut it out for tonight. Jawbreaker from Tiger Vision. These Tiger Vision games are really something special. The deepness of the color. I mean, how do you make that at the factory? That is red, my friends. Just like Polaris, Threshold, and King Kong. All right, guys, I'll be honest with you. Look at this. What a heartbreak. I'm missing some of the label. Now, I'll never sell it, so value almost doesn't mean anything. But we all want to know what our games are worth. It makes us feel good. And I'm pretty sure that by missing a piece of this, down the road, that could be a $10, 20 30 even a $40 you know, difference in its value. It's exponential, if that makes any sense. Let's get it going. Ah, oh, having some trouble. What a great game. At first, you're going to notice it's a ripoff of Pac-Man, but in, an, an, in a very most excellent way. This really is an incredible Atari gem. I'm the yellow kind of munchy thing messing around here on the... going down to the bottom of the screen, getting all the dots, and I'm already, like, kind of fired up right now. I'm, I'm really enjoying myself. We got the thing in the middle to eat. Don't have it right now. What makes this game unique is it's a dot eater. You can still do the Pac-Man thing as I just did. I ate the big... There's only one power pellet, and that's in the middle of the screen. And I just got it. But what gives you a chance to live are these exit points. Boom. Boom. Like I'm doing here. Exit point. The only reason I'm not talking right now is I'm having a great time. Jawbreaker is a must-have. Ooh, I'll tell you that right now. Let's see if we can beat the level. Not that we're going to see a new maze, but it doesn't matter. I'm fully into this game, and I'm very proud to own it. Now they're protecting their... So, all right, let's get this, man. There's a power pellet, just like Pac-Man. You get your kills, but you're glad to do it. And I do think it's worth more points. Oh, they're going to brush my teeth because I beat a level. So that's Jawbreaker, but I'll tell you what, man. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on. I bet people compete for high scores like this with Crazy because the gameplay is solid. So you get this middle middle power pellet that will get you there and give you the power to kill enemies, but it's these exit points. Exit point. Exit point. All these screens have this traveling exit point that you go through. And, you know, a great player, which I'm not necessarily am, am will, you know, utilize that to his best ability. How do I get out of this? Oh, I almost did get out of that. Hmm. Game over. Well, as you can see, Jawbreaker just kicks some ass, man. You go through these different things, so you can travel around. You can travel around here. You can travel through these different spaces in the lines, and just don't get hit by the ghosts. I mean, I don't have to tell you too much. It's a Pac-Man clone, but in the very best way. Have a good night. I don't think I said enough good things about Jawbreaker. It really is fantastic. Have a good night.